up guys? It's Rollin64 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, in the last episode, we did a few things at, um, Goron City. We got a few pieces of heart and, um, then we started the Dongo's Cavern and hopefully in either this or the next episode, we're gonna finish the Dongo's Cavern. Alright. First, you want to blow up the Beemos. Uh, the only way to kill Beemos is to kill them. Sorry, I bumped the mic trying to adjust it. I'm trying to adjust the thing on my ear. Over here. Ow. Um, whip out your handy dandy Deku shield. Um, I give up. If you let me go, I will sell you a Deku shield. It's 50 rupees. Let's make a deal. No way. I find that weird because he sells, he says he's, he'll sell it to you, yet there are only two ways that you can get him to sell you that. By blocking it with the Deku shield or stunning him with the Deku nut, so. Kind of weird to me. But I'm kind of weird. I don't think he's in the remake, actually. Um, the reason he sells you Deku Shields is because um, it's possible that your shield can be burned up in this dungeon. Of course, if you took the advice that the guy gave us, you'll know to equip the Hylian Shield. Why does it feel like this dungeon is a lot different in the remake? Maybe it's just me. Hang on. Windows. Um, anyway, uh, for this, we're going to start off by putting a bomb here. There we go. And we're going to come into this room. Alright, now for this... This statue here comes to life. Comes to life, I mean. You gotta use bombs to blow them up. Then they'll chase you and explode. Um, so let's go ahead and get the treasure. So we got the compass. Awesome. Alright, so, grab this, uh, we didn't need to listen to Navi, she would just tell us the obvious. Anyway, so, blowing up those two bombs in the front makes a chain reaction, which obviously makes this happen. Now this can be a little slow because of how because of how Link climbs st these kinds of stairs. My, uh, it's not too bad. Um, yeah. All right. Now what you want to do here is pull out your slingshot. Shoot the sculpture up here and climb these vines and get your well deserved gold token. Oh, hang on. Now, these enemies are fire keys or just keys or here. You know, can we. There we go. Keys. When you get close to it, use Z-targeting. Even if it flies away, you can still target it. Um, so, yeah, they can light themselves on fire, and they can burn up your Deku shield. Alright, this statue doesn't come to life. Just push it out of the way. And then hit the switch.
Whoa, a little lag. Whoa. Okay, now it's kind of a lot of lag. What's going on? Alright, so now we're actually above the main room. And see, down there is the entrance, so try not to fall down once you get up here. So, we're going to go through here. Let's see. We end up here. Now, be careful, because... You never know what will be what will be around these corners in these narrow paths. Use Z-targeting to always look in the proper direction. This is a useful technique, isn't it? I don't really find it useful. I just find it as a little time waster. All right, right here. Uh oh. If you actually slice it, it sounds different than that. So that means this is bombable, plus from the way it looks. So first, I'm going to get what's in this chest. Probably 20 rupees. I was right. Let's grab a bomb flower, throw it up. Uh, did I just glitch through there? Anyway. So there's fire here. What you need to do is just uh, shoot the eye switch, and the fire goes down. Um, I recommend rolling through here, because it'll easily get you past those bomb things. And now we're to the real mini boss. I recommend you stay on this platform here. Because this is a really good platform to stay on, or that one over there. In fact, I'm gonna come over here. So yeah, just hit them, and when they jump over you, just press R to put your shield down. Pretty simple mini boss. There you are. Yeah, it's very simple. Alright, come on. Come on. There we go. So, these are insanely easy. Alright, now I'm going to show you a little thing. Um, if we come over here, you want to be careful when you cross across, when you go across this. Um, you'll just get two hearts here, but if you, oh gosh, if you look down, we're actually above where we first fought the Lazalfos. Um, the first time I came through this dungeon, um, I fell down there so many times, or I fell down there once and it took me like forever to get back here, so I was so mad and stuff, so be very careful. Because if you fall down there, you have to go all the way back out and then all the way around to get back to here. So, it took me a long time. Alright, now for this. Again, shoot the ice switch. However, don't shoot it again. Come over here, shoot this one. And that gets rid of the next fire. Um, yeah. <sighs> Alright. I just gotta warn you, my commentary might not be too great in dungeons. But, hopefully it's decent. Alright, so we got the bomb bag, the dungeon item. This bomb's holding... This bomb holding bag is made from Dodong a Dodongo's stomach. That's disgusting. You found 20 bombs inside. You can set them to sea and blow stuff up. What a lucky guy. So we're a seven-year-old with explosives. Well, sounds like most kids. Alright, so, bombs. Um, I don't know where I should set them. Uh, I guess to here. That should do. Save, um, do I want to? 
Nah, not yet. Um, so I'd say we're almost done with the dungeon. Alright, with that switch, it makes it easy to get back up here if you fall down. Windows. Alright, so, um, now what you want to do is actually take one of your bombs and drop it into that eye. Let's see if I did it right. Yes, I did. Um, here, I'm going to go ahead and blow up this wall. Because in this little chest here is five rupees. Alright, normally there. If you don't have a Deku Shield, there will be a Deku Shield in that. But since I have my Deku Shield, there was just five rupees. Alright, so blow up both eyes and. That big Dodongo statue opens its eye, or opens its mouth. I always like walking on it when I open the mouth and just kinda like standing in the eye because it, it, it looks like there's fire in here almost alright well let's just get down and go in alright this is the final portion of the dungeon see these are these keys are annoying um, it's pretty easy to lose your shield in this room. Uh, I remember on Apollo 18's video of this, he got so mad. Anyway, through that locked door is the boss room. And to open the door, if I can, if I can get in there, dude, get in. Thank you. You hit it and the door opens however you get off it the door shuts again so we need something to hold down the switch so what you do is come over here um... thought there'd be more baby dodongos but guess not uh... this room is pretty easy i don't think there's really anything important in here um, maybe through this wall I, I can check. Probably not. Oh, there's a room. Don't think I've ever been here before, but... Oh, it's a sculptula. Alright, well, we got a sculpture and blew that thing up. Well, it is a good thing I came over here. Huh. I know I've had to have been in that room before, because I've gotten all 100 sculptures before. See, that's the way to lose your Deku Shield. Alright, so, normally people, like, move the blocks and stuff. You don't need to do that. All you need to do is just come over here. Uh, there's a fairy there. I might want to catch that in my empty bottle. There, uh, uh, okay. I didn't even... It was so far away from me. But, alright. Alright, so what people normally do is they have to... Here, climb. They have to move the block over there to over here so they can get on here and move this. But you don't need to do that. You can just take the shortcut I showed you and then just come over here. Making a tedious and time-consuming thing very, very simple. But you, the only block you really need to move is this one. And before something knocks you down, make sure that this block is down. Because if so, if you fall down and the block is up there, you have to go through, you have to go all the way through the rooms again to get back over here. Kind of a pain. You 
better not come back. I guess we're going to make this a long video because we're almost, we're, I'm sorry, we are to the boss. Okay. Well, this is going to be a kind of long video. All right. Uh, for some reason, oh, we can't use our ocarina here. All right, so place a bomb right there. Come over here. Get a refill. And then jump down. Infernal Dinosaur King Dodongo. What you gotta do? Target. Throw a bomb in his mouth. And, uh. Get a Deku stick out. Yeah, I'm gonna navy target him. King Dodongo. This is a huge Dodongo that eats anything. Give it a shock and finish it off with your sword. Um. It's actually a very, very, very easy boss if you have Deku sticks. Two bombs, two Deku sticks, and he's dead. So, we beat the boss in a minute. That was easy. heard of taking a hot bath, but that's ridiculous. And so, we got a heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased by one heart. Your life energy will be totally filled. And you can just slice away at the head if you want. But we're not going to do that. Alright. So let's head off. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rock from Dodongo's Cavern. Until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure. It'll make an incredible story. Or it might be on some kind of imaging device from the future. To where a person can manipulate you. And kind of record himself, almost and then give it to a wild audience. Eh, yeah, but I'm just being an idiot. I can't believe that the Dodongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief Ganondorf. Or, I'm sorry, Ganondorf, or, as you like to call him, Pointy Head McPolygon. He said, Give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. You obtained the Goron's Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? 
You should go see the Great Fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody! It's Tugga Conroy! But anyway, let's see our... Let's see off our brother. Yep. You did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Running, 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 running. Oh, crap, there's more! Run! Run away! Run! Yeah, so, um... Put your stick away, man. But they're actually not over there. Um, but that'll be all for this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And in the next episode, we are going to head up to see the Great Fairy and then head out for the next area. So this is Roland64, signing off.